Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, PaintballProps.com, and ElectronicLessons.com. Today I'm going to show you how to put together a 100 word talking Arduino audio shield. It's controlled via SPI. Um, very, very, very easy to use. It's a Kickstarter campaign that's linked below. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to put one of these together from scratch using the included components in the DIY kit. Uh, if you pledge towards this campaign, you can pledge towards a DIY kit, uh, a fully assembled unit, or uh, variations. One of both if you'd like. In any case, let's talk about the components. Okay, so this is the custom PCB. Two ceramic 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitors, a single 470 ohm resistor, a 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, a stereo connector, two 1 microfarad electrolytic capacitors, two 6 pin headers, four 8 pin headers, two 10 pin headers, a programmed audio chip, and a 16 pin dip socket. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use an Arduino Uno to help set up or solder into place our first headers. So let's go and let's go, go do all of our headers first, the top and bottom. This is honestly my uh, favorite step. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one 6-pin header, two 8-pin headers, and one 10-pin header. And I'm going to place them with the long pins facing down into my Arduino Uno. 6-pin uh, header on the lower right from this perspective, 8 to the left, 8 on the upper right, and 10 on the upper left. So now as you can see, I've got the small ends of the pins sticking up. Now this might take, it'll take a little bit of maneuvering. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, fit right into place the first time. So now all of the pins are sticking up on this upper rail and on the top this lower rail, leaving the outer pins, uh, which we'll solder in a little bit. And those will be essentially facing up, as you can see. So this is perfect. It sits right into place and I'm going to use my soldering iron and I'm going to solder each of those pins um, one by one, making sure that there are absolutely no shorts. And uh, once I'm done, I'm going to pull it out of the uh, Arduino and we're going to solder the rest of it without the help of our Arduino Uno. So the bottom of our board is soldered nicely. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the remaining four headers and I'm going to uh, use, I'm going to place them in the outskirts of the board. I'm going to use one finger to hold that into place and I'm going to use my soldering iron with my right hand because I'm right handed to put a little dab of solder on the outer pins and what that'll do is that once that cools as long as I've done a decent enough job we'll hold it into place I look to ensure that it's sitting at 90 degrees then what I'll do is I will solder the rest of them in place now you do this however you'd like this is my method uh, I find uh, that it's very easy this way, uh, unless you don't have any nails. I don't have, I don't have very long nails myself, but uh, this is a very good way to solder it. So now follow that step with all of the remaining uh, headers on the outskirts of the uh, shield, and then we will do the uh, the passive components. The hardest part is over. This is an uh, easy street from now on. So let's solder our single resistor. Place it in the 470R resistor slot. Uh, it's, the resistors are not polarized, it goes in nicely, make sure it's flush to the board, turn the board around and solder it into place. The two 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitors, labeled 104, uh, are to be soldered right here, labeled 0.1U. There's no polarity, both leads are the same size, just make sure that you solder them into the right slots. Uh, as well, this the second capacitor slot right here, labeled C12 0.1U. Solder those into place, and next we will do our three electrolytic capacitors. The 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor might be physically a little bit larger than the 1 microfarad electrolytic capacitors, but that's not always the case. So ensure ensure that you're looking that you segregate your capacitors. Make sure you find the capacitor labeled 10U and you find the two capacitors labeled 1U and you put them aside. Now what you'll notice is there's a long lead and a short lead on all of these electrolytic capacitors. That's because they're polarized. They have a positive and a negative. The long leads are positive, the short leads are negative. So I'm going to get to get a close up of the board and show you where to solder uh, each of these capacitors. You want to be absolutely certain that you place these capacitors uh, 
properly. So the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor goes right here. You see it's labeled a 10U, that's for 10 micro. And you'll notice there's a little plus sign above the top hole from this perspective. That means you want your long lead to go in this hole and your short lead to go in this hole. Uh, if, uh, if you mix that up, and you power, you connect this to your Arduino Uno, it's gonna look like a short circuit to your Arduino Uno and your Uno will not power up. So long lead in the positive hole, upper hole, short lead in the bottom. Now, for the, the one microfarad electrolytic capacitors, notice on both of the bottom holes, there's a little plus sign to the left. So long lead in the bottom hole, long lead in the bottom hole, short lead in the top hole, short lead in the top hole. Um, Make sure that you don't reverse those or else your audio output won't work properly, both channels. So solder those into place and next we will talk about our socket and lastly our audio jack. The socket is very easy. Notice there's a notch on the left hand side from this perspective. There is a notch on one side of the integrated uh, of the socket, sorry, right there on the left hand side. So from a bird's eye view, I'm going to pop that into place. Now the notch is facing left, and when I populate my chip, I'll, I'll know which way to populate the chip because of that notch. Now to solder this in place, I'm going to take one finger, hold, hold the socket down, turn it around, and I'm going to use my right hand to solder that pin and that pin. And then once that uh, cools, I can turn the board around and solder, solder the whole, uh, sorry, solder the rest of the pins in place. Of course, you want to make sure that once you've soldered the first two holes, that it is sitting flush to the board. So solder your socket into place, and then we will do our last connection, which is our uh, audio jack. The audio jack is one of the easiest components. It's got one pin on the bottom, four pins in the back. Slot is right here. One pin in the bottom, four pins in the back. From a bird's eye view, I want, to look, I want to line up the bottom pin first, and the remaining four pins in the back should pop into place. Be gentle with it is a very key component. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this into place. I'm going to use my right hand to dab a bit of solder on the bottom pin just to hold it into place. I'll ensure that it's sitting at, uh, flush to the board. Then I'll solder the remaining four pins, and then I'll re-solder the initial pin to make sure that there's no cold solder joint and that we have a good ground connection. From there, we're going to stop the video and... Um, connect this to our Arduino Uno. One last step, I'm sorry I forgot. Uh, our chip, we have to place our chip. Notice that there's a notch on the left side of the chip. There's also that notch we talked about earlier on the left side from this perspective of the dip socket. Now, how I like to, to place the chip is I like to, I'm trying to do this from behind the camera, so pardon me if I bump the camera. I like to line up the top pins first. You should feel them fall into place. Then I like to gently massage the bottom pins into the bottom holes of the socket. Once I'm sure that they're sitting properly, I'll, I like to take both of my thumbs and just go push down, straight down, using the same amount of force on each thumb. Pops right into place. Very nice. Be very careful. You don't want to mess up the, your, your, the pins on your chip because also a, a very, very key component. So now let's pop this into our Arduino Uno. Hello Mr. Arduino, what do you say? We're going to connect to you right now. We're going to line up the top pins into the female sockets and then the bottom pin should just fall into place. And we are connected. We can now speak to this audio shield through the SPI lines uh, talked about in the video manual and we can plug uh, our computer speakers uh, into this audio output jack. All you have to do is Use our Arduino Uno to tell uh, tell the shield which words to say. We can say all sorts of uh, different sentences. Uh, the light level is five. The temperature is 54 degrees Fahrenheit, or the temperature is 62.23 degrees uh, Celsius. Just as an option. 138 words currently programmed. By the end of this campaign, there will be more than 160 words programmed into this bad boy. So if you haven't already checked out the, the uh, Kickstarter campaign, it's linked below. Thanks for watching and have a great day, everyone.